The first step in boosting security is changing the port through which we connect on our Raspberry Pi for an SSH connection. First log into your Pi using your standard credentials over your Wi-Fi. And once you're in, what you're going to want to do is use a text editor such as nano to visit your sshd underscore config file. And in this file you will see what ports IPs and protocols we listen for. You can change this from port 22 to port whatever. So let's go for 9001. You can then exit out. Yes, you want to save. Yes, you want to save. And then what you need to do is reboot your Pi and this will take some time. Once your Raspberry Pi has finished rebooting, you can try connecting to it again using the credentials you used before, and what you'll find is that you can't because the connection was refused on port 22, and the reason why is because we changed that port to port 9001. So now we have to specify our port, and then we can log into our Raspberry. So port over 9000, we can log in. The next thing you need to do if you want to be able to access your Pi over the web, let's say, uh, I'm going to exit out of this and I'm going to attempt to, well, let's just start new, we're going to attempt to connect to our Raspberry Pi over the internet using our public IP address. And if I do that, what you find is it will hang. And the reason why it hangs, I'm just going to break this and clear this. The reason why it hangs is because on our router, we only have port 22 open. So following the port forwarding protocol that you would follow for your own router, because I'm sure it looks different from mine, what you're going to want to do is create, in my instance, a new application list. Uh, let's add a new user-defined application. Uh, new SSH. We're going to call it 9001. Add to list. I can add my new SSH so that it turns on for my Raspberry Pi. And of course, remove the old port 22 because we no longer need that. And why have it open when it can be closed? So now, if I check my system, I'll see that port 9001 on my public IP address is open, pointing towards my Raspberry Pi. If I were to try an SSH in now, using port 9001, through my public IP address yes we'll accept and then your default password again is Raspberry and we're in so now it's a little bit more difficult for somebody to access your Raspberry Pi because you have obscured your Pi's location on your IP address However, we're not done yet, and the reason I say that is because if your hacker, your would-be hacker, were to use a simple program such as Nmap against your public IP address, he could scan the ports that are open, and after a scan he can find out that indeed port 9001 is open. However, you can see that it took some time for the program to complete, granted I executed this on my Raspberry Pi. But still, the fact that this took time means that a lot of people who are out there scanning everybody's IP address is likely not going to check all the open ports because they can target far fewer individuals that way. Only people who are either lucky or people who really want to get into your particular system will be able to get in using the simple credentials Pi and Password Raspberry. In the next video, I'll see how you can I'll show you how you can strengthen your security even further. See you then.